Hello people, it's Richie here from Now That's Richie Channel and Richie Reports UK channel. This is a quick video. I suspect you've been listening to the news the last couple of days. They've been talking about this UK emergency alert system that the government's planning on testing shortly. Like they're going to send a, like an emergency alarm to every active mobile phone in the UK. Going to be some sort of like a siren or a loud sort of screech of some sort. It's supposed to be if the government need to warn the population about like a, a flood or a major fire or terrorist attack or hurricane or World War Three or anything like that. But if uh, you don't want the nanny state telling you when there's going to be a flood or a fire, you can soon tell just by looking out the window, can't you? Really, to be quite honest, it's just nanny state. But what you can do, if you look, go to the settings in your phone, you'll pop, you might find that the, the uh, emergency alert system will be switched on by default. But you can go, go into the settings and turn it off. I'll, I'm going to show you how to do it. This is on, uh, this is on uh, Android, Android 11, 12, 13 on the Samsung phone because it's one, what the ones, I've, what ones phones I've got. Is an Android 11 and on Android 13, so it's much as much as it'd probably be much the same on any Android phones. If you've probably got iPhones or any other, it'd probably be slightly different, but you'll probably find it in the settings. But I'll show you how to do it on a Samsung Android phone. So you've got go open your, open your settings, wherever that is on your home screen. Then you go to notifications. You go notifications. And you scroll up until you find advanced settings. And you scroll down the bottom, it'll be somewhere down the bottom of the menu. Wireless emergency alerts. You'll see that page there. Emergency alerts. And you've got several options there. You've got allow alerts, receive emergency alert notifications. If you turn, if you have to turn that on, that will give you. You can either have alert for extreme alerts, extreme threats to life and property, or severe alerts, severe threats to life and property. You got emergency alert history. You can have it on vibrate if you want, or you can have speak alert speak alert making use text to speak but, so that's what you do you, you can just you can top you can toggle it off on or off now alert so if you turn that off you shouldn't receive but the thing is i've got two phones this one i'm showing you on here is ee on an ee network in the uk and about every well, about every, every six weeks they will send you a, a text message saying they've up upgraded the wireless alert system on your phone, you 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 now find it will be switched on. So you have to go and check every so often and turn it back off again. On the phone I'm filming this on, which is, which is uh, on Vodafone, don't seem to get that. It, it seems to stay off permanently all the time it's turned off. So, so, to, to pe so check on your network, whether your Vodafone, EE, see O2, Virgin... Any others you might be on, Smarty Mobile, Gift Gaff, whatever they are. Your, your uh, network operator or your carrier might do different, slightly different things. But I have heard that the, the alert can be turned on remotely. The government can turn the alert on remotely through your network operator. So you might not always know it's on. So they're going to be testing this on the 23rd of April, 2023. So uh, that's what you need to do if you don't want it to wake you up in the middle of the night or whenever they might be doing it. Because apparently it's going to override everything else that you might be doing on your phone. You won't be able to use your phone for anything else until you turn it off. So just a little update on that one, people. Okay, see you on the next one.